Alright, so after about half an hour of mucking around, finally been able to connect it successfully. Um, I'll share some of my um, uh, troubles and issues I encountered as well. But um, conceptually, this should be a really easy process. So what I've done is connected the NP508 main adapter to the wall, Ethernet cable into the modem. Right? Conceptually, that, that should be it. Um, now on the other side, now over here on the other side of the room, I've connected the Wi-Fi um, module to the PowerPoint as well. I've got an Ethernet cable to, to test as well. And conceptually, really all I had to do was just look at the side side here it told me that my SSID is a Netcom wireless 60 so I've gone and looked for Netcom wireless 60 in here and connected use the password which is actually supplied on the sticker as well unfortunately here's a couple issues here's a couple issues I'm connected um, on wirelessly at the moment so if I go into the admin settings page and I can see everything. Now, if you notice the IP address here, it is 192.168.1.200. Um, after a little bit of Googling, turns out this IP address is hard coded. So basically, when I initially try to connect to the network, either through the LAN cable or wireless, I was able to connect to the network, but I wasn't getting an internet connection. And I was like, what the hell? So, one key thing to know is that this IP address is hard-coded. So, you, I haven't been able to figure out how to change it. And based on some posts online, it seems like you can't. Or you need the utility, which hasn't been made yet. The annoying thing that I had to do was that I had to go to my router, change the network on that first, so it was in within the 192.168.1. range, and then it would work. Now, I go, okay, I'm thinking, oh great, awesome, now that I've connected the, now that I've made the uh, networks um, addresses consistent, should work. No. The other issue that I encountered was that the LAN cable when you plugged in to the laptop, that worked, but unfortunately the wireless still wouldn't work and it wouldn't um, be able to connect to the internet. I'd be able to connect to the wireless um, SSID, but I wouldn't be able to get internet access. Uh, so mucking around on the settings page, Right, I decided. Oh, let's have a let's have a go. Change a channel, the Wi-Fi channel first. Once I changed that, the wireless worked as well. So it wasn't quite as easy as plug in and go, but everything's working now. But I've wasted about half an hour, forty-five minutes, like fluffing around, researching, and trying to go. What the hell? Why isn't this working? So that, that was a little bit frustrating. Um, as you can see though, everything is actually working fine now. If I go to YouTube, etc. You know, that's all working. And I don't seem to be getting any um, speed issues. Now, I'm in an apartment at the moment and um, it's, it's not that big so the um, getting a signal and getting variations, testing and variations and speed of how far the signal reaches out hasn't been possible because it's not that much of a challenge for the for this apartment. Um, I do note that you can, there's a f switch here to change to 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal which is quite handy. Um, doesn't seem like you can do both at the same time though. Uh, but you know, if you want 5 gigahertz 
only you can so that's that's handy as well oh one more thing that I should notice is that the Wi-Fi actually connected automatically at least so that was actually very easy so you see that house picture there now that is also on the other module and after about I don't know four or five minutes uh, it detects itself automatically straight out of the box and once that's on it knows that the Wi-Fi is available and you can connect as in there is internet access so um, you know that's good but you know, four, five, uh, it, it did take a few minutes extra than I would have thought to connect though, so um, that's just one thing, just be patient when it's connecting. About 45 minutes, I've been standing right next to the Wi-Fi module, and I don't know if it's in my head or not, but probably not, but I feel a little bit nauseous. Just make sure you stay a little bit away from it, or put it a little bit away from where you sleep. But again, that could be in my head from the frustration that I've gone through in setting this up. Look, everything works now, so that's a treat. Works great. Um, speed doesn't seem to be an issue. It's a small apartment that I'm in after all at the moment. Um, but yeah, hopefully, um, yeah, it keeps on, keeps on working. Let's see if it gets warm. It gets a little bit warm, but nothing really, nothing really to write home about, you know, just standard. Um, yep, there we go, NP508. Thanks guys.